Hey guys, Zoe here from OneGlassTrader.com and in this video I'm going to share with you some classic pin bar reversal examples using the OGT price action indicator. Again, you know, I just want to share with you how powerful this indicator is and you know, the thousands and thousands of people have downloaded this indicator and it's you know completely free just click the link in the uh, description or head over to oneglancetrader.com about how amazing it is using this type of indicator and this type of pattern in the indicator so as many of you know that there are four or five patterns uh candlestick patterns that you can use uh, with the ogt price action indicator but today I'm just going to share with you oh, the original classic pin bar reversal of all back in the day of version 1.0. So, um, so yeah. So what I've done is I've kind of uh, opened up the uh, GBP JPY one hour chart, and as you can see here, we've got uh, a number of uh, pin bar reversals uh, showing up here. So. For those of you who are still brand new to the indicator or have just stumbled across this video, I'll share a playlist um, in the top right hand corner uh, where you can learn all about the OGT price action indicator and the different versions that are out there. So I'm using the latest version at the time of recording this video, version 1.3. Um, and the settings that I've got on at the moment is I've only selected the pin bar. Um, one important thing is I've taken off the MA filter. So the MA filter is the addition to version 1.3 uh, where it gives you price action signals going with the trend. So if you take that off or put that to false, it effectively becomes version 1.2. Um, so on the pin bar settings, the main thing is everything is very standard. The only things that I've added in there is the percentage of the wick which the default is always 25 percent and and uh, for room to the left and it look the look back period is minimum of 15 bars so again if this doesn't make sense to you i'll reference it when we look at the charts in the second but again i strongly I recommend that you go back and look at the playlist to understand what all these kind of settings uh, mean so the pin bar that i'm going to be focusing on mainly in this video is this pin bar here that has the number 529. So if I zoom into this pin bar, you can see at the moment that it's a fairly large pin bar. I just want to check if I've set any rules on the quantity. Bars, okay, quantity range check zero. Okay, no, so it, it is not on there. So it probably is well, it's probably quite a, probably I don't know if it's bigger than that bar, but either way, it's a very significant large bar uh, of a pin bar. And again, the rules and everything you can look back on pre on previous videos. Now, the main thing that I look for really is what I like to call, or Walter Peters, the one I've based the uh, logic of this indicator is room to the left. So room to the left is, when you look on the left, is do you see price anywhere near that level? And this is what this 529 is, is, is saying. What it looks at, it looks at the, the, the top, in this case, the top 25% of the full bar, and it looks back, and in the settings it's set to 15, if, um, if there is no price action 15 bars ago, it will constitute as a as a pin bar. And you can set that to any number you want. And what this 529 is saying is how many bars ago was price at this level in the top 25%. And it was 529. And considering we're on a one hour chart, that's 529 hours ago price was at this, uh, at this level. And we'll zoom out in a second to see how far that actually is. Um, but given the context of the time frame that we're on it was a long time ago i'd like the size of the bar everything else kind of fits the main criteria a nice uptrend you get a nice form pin bar it kind of looks like a uh, kind of like a morning star type pattern with the uh, uh, with the with the red bull bar coming straight after it and as you can see you get a massive sell off over here you know you got a nice two three four to one 
uh, in there. So that is what I determine as a classic uh, kind of uh, kind of pin bar. Um, but I wouldn't trade a pin bar solely based on the price action indicator in terms of the the signal that it gets you. So what else can we add on top of this um, to give us better confidence that this has a high probability and it's not guaranteed high probability that this would be a successful trade um, so there's a few things that i like to look at and it's not the be all and end all um, but it's a couple of things that i kind of look for the first thing i look for is is there any uh, divergence so again i've got i've got many macd indicators on there so this is just the standard macd that, I, that i've downloaded and where I'm looking for the price to make higher highs, I'm looking for the indicators to make lower lows for, for a, a reversal. As you can see here, the price and the indicator are in agreement, so there's no divergence. So that's not a great sign because you kind of want divergence, again, giving you added factors on there. But I want to show you everything that I look I look for. The next thing I look for is I'll, I use my, especially for, for reversals, I use my OGT uh, RSI MTF indicator again I'll link to that um, but effectively it gives you signals uh, based on the RSI being overbought or oversold on multiple time frames so I like to use the standard 14 period close price 70 30 and what it will do I've set it to higher time frames and it's got one so what it will do is it will look to see if the RSI in this case is overbought i.e above 70 on the current time frame i.e the one hour and also in this case the four hour chart and if it is it gives you a down signal a downward arrow for a sell and upward signal for for a buy so now i've added that signal on it again now gives you another reason that the rsi is overbought on the one hour and the four hour so again this gives us another area of high probability that you know the market is overextended and there is a a probability that the market will reverse how long how far not 100 percent sure but there's a high probability we're at that point and that gives us that signal there so i'm just going to keep that there for a second and probably one of the last thing to look at is I'm, as you guys know for uh, who have been on my channel i'm a big fan of round numbers whole numbers in terms of psychological levels inside the market so this is a round numbers indicator again i'll link it inside the description it's it's something from the uh, kind of um mt4 marketplace uh, that, that i got completely free um, and what this does it puts it at significant levels at the 500 level and at the uh, thousand level or whatever you want to call it and as you can see here price you know hits resistance at 141.500 so that again is another indicator to me that price is reacting to that level so we've got a pin bar we've got rsi overboard multiple time frames and we've got it at a quote unquote significant resistance level so three things now that are inside our favor that this trade will reverse and the last thing i like to look at is market structure so if i zoom out in fact what i'm going to do is take off the round numbers indicator because it kind of gets in the way a little bit let's zoom out one more time here we go this is this is kind of what i wanted to show what we've kind of got here is a um is a descending or, or an ascending triangle uh, uh, rather so this is what i mean so we've got a situation of where we've got a lot of resistance and again if i put up the round numbers indicator that is a whole number and then you've also got oh, definitely pressed the wrong wrong one there definitely want a trend line no idea why it's in because at the moment we didn't know that any of this stuff here occurred at this point so there's a high probability chance at this level that we're going to see some resistance here multiple touch points and there again the market structure showing that we are at a high probability stage that the market will do a short-term reversal and if you look at there that would have been a great target because you would have just used this low here um, of a 
of a potential take profit target. So if I zoom back in, and if you had that there, you'll be looking, let's just say you just got in really late, 40 pips to, uh, to 100, so 2.5 to 1, something like that. A, a, a reward to risk. Um, and again, you have this line over here. Look at this pin bar over here. Because that line you would have drawn before even when, th when this showed. You didn't even know any of this was going to happen. Then you get another pin bar over here at, at another resistance line. I'm just going to put in the round numbers indicator just to, just to humor myself. It's not really anywhere near a kind of a round numbered line, but again, another area there, another confluence factor there that this pin bar is also going to be a potential uh, reversal, um, uh, reversal uh, point over here. So again, some classic examples. This is a nice one over here as well. It's a bit small for my liking, but it's at a again another whole number. A whole number level you've got one two three multiple touch points there you know price hadn't been at this level for 233 hours um and therefore you get a move move up to the upside so again that one's a good one potentially uh, potentially to use but this is the one i really wanted to focus on today as a as a really really good potential uh, pin bar to take and again these happen all day long on various time frames um, and this is the power of the OGT price action indicator again you can put alerts on it so you don't need to wait for these things to come in you see that you see the alert you go to your chart you do these things it took me five minutes to say actually yay yeah or nay I want to go in a trade put your put your stop loss in put your, <laughs> put your take profit and let it roll so um, really hope you enjoy this video and uh, like I said you can download it by clicking the link below